Hey guys, this is Dave from Mission to Muscle, and we're going to be discussing an herbal supplement, doing a little review on Rhodiola rosea and the two different extracts that go along with it. Rhodiola, what is it? Besides a super hard word to keep saying in a video, it's an adaptogen that helps us adapt to fatigue in life, stresses, whether we put our mind or body under, it helps control the functions and block necessarily the, the flight or fight system or response in our body that comes from the hypothalamus gland. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. It's also been claimed to fight oxidative stress, reduce stress and fatigue, fight infection, boost the immune system, decrease inflammation, suppress tumor growth, improve mood, boost brain function, prevent nerve and brain damage, prevents fat buildup, and burns energy, protects the heart and lungs, reduces pain, along with may improve sexual function. So rhodiola, what is it besides a freaking hard word to say, like I said earlier? It is an herbal supplement that has two different extracts to it. And here are the two different extracts. Salgicides and rosphalins. Now salgicides, research identifies that salgicide may have a variety of positive effects throughout your body. Some studies show that salgicide may have adaptogenic properties. Adaptogens refer to any compound that may help your body adapt to physical drawbacks associated with stress as well as maintaining homeostasis. Salgicide may also support nerve health, and studies show that salgicide may promote nerve repair processes, regulate the release of neurotransmitters, and protect cells. One study found that salgicides may protect nerve cells from toxins and other harmful substances while promoting cognitive function. The next extract is rosavin. Research suggests that rosavin in Rodilio Rosea may support healthy stress levels. Rosavin may also act as an active compound that supports weight loss. Studies show that rosavin may potentiate hormone-based lipase, an enzyme that can break down adipose tissue or fat, particularly around the midsection. This breakdown of stomach fat may be increased when rosavin is combined with exercise. Besides the two extracts, rhodiola has some really cool benefits, and here's a few. Now, rhodiola rosea itself activates AMPAC, boosts NRF2, and blocks the JAK2 and STAT3 pathways. Now, what are these? AMPAC is an energy sensor that, when activated in the right tissues, has many benefits and effects on our bodies. It stimulates weight loss, improves insulin sensitivity, decreases inflammation, and improves muscle performance. AMPAC is also involved in several longevity pathways and promotes healthy aging. Damn, anti-aging, love that. Nuclear factor, or NRF2, is a protein which increases the expression of antioxidant proteins that protect against oxidative damage triggered by injury and inflammation. Now, JAK2 is involved in blood cell growth and development, and mutations are the cause of many different blood disorders. In addition to modulating blood cell growth, JAK2 is somewhat involved in an immune system and therefore has been studied in relation to Crohn's disease and colon and rectile cancer. So last, there's STAT3, which is a protein that binds to DNA and increases the expression of certain genes. The STAT3 pathway is used by a variety of cytokines, or kins, hormones, and growth factors to increase blood cell formation, immune cell development, stem cell maintenance, and also growth. So being a type 1 diabetic, I struggle with energy and fatigue from low sugars, high sugars throughout the day. I don't metabolize carbs like everybody else. So... Rhodiola has actually been great, a great product for me to use over the years, but I've always tried to find something or a way to get this product to last longer for me throughout the day. And the reason for that is because when I take the standard extract, which is the uh, 3% and 1%, that's 3% ros rosavins and 1% salgicides, halfway through the day, I become tired and fatigued. And if I take another one of these, I get anxiety. And the same happened with the BioTest version. They both worked well, one pill in the morning to actually 
boost energy for the gym because I work out in the morning. But midday, if I tried to take another one, I got anxiety. So I tried to go with a higher extract of salicides. So I picked up this 5% version of salicides. And then what I did was I, you need to have rosvalins within it too in order to get the whole bioavailability of the, the plant or the herb itself or the root. So I added one pill of the standard extract. So I take one and one, and this has been the best version as far as the product for me to take. Now, keep in mind that 70 80% of you out there reading all the reviews are going to be fine off of this one standard product, which is about $11 on Amazon. This one's by Solar Ray. I wouldn't spend, if you're testing it out, I wouldn't spend any more than that, than 10, 11 bucks to try out the product. But most of you guys are going to be fine with this standard product. Because I'm a type 1 diabetic, my body operates a little differently. So I had to, like I said, find a way. But all in all, reviewing all these products to end the video, every one of these products, Biotest, Solaray, and this version of Rhodiola, which here's the picture. I don't even know what the, the manufacturer is on this, but all these versions are great. They all gave an adaptogenic effect of some sort. Uh, for me, it was just finding the right extracts to give me the right amount of energy and less fatigue throughout the whole entire day being a type 1 diabetic. So there is my supplement review for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe to the channel because I will be bringing you more. I'm going to try to be bringing one video a week of supplement review and also some training and exercise videos along with it that you can use to get to your fitness goals. Once again, this is Dave from Mission to Muscle. We'll see you next time.